So for this question, you're given two series, C of X and S of X, and you're asked to find a new series that's a combination, so a subtraction of C minus S. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to um, just write out some terms for each of them and see if we can find that pattern. So we'll write out some terms for C, we'll write out some terms for S, we'll write the subtraction, see if we see the pattern. Now, I'll show you the first couple of writing out the C's and a couple of the S's, and then I'm going to pause, write out some more, because that's just boring to watch me write it, and then we'll meet um, again. So writing out some of the C's, right? Now all we're going to do is plug in the different values of N. So N, oh gosh, that's a real big glare. Let me see if I can make that a little bit less glary. So if n is 0, what are we going to get? Uh, so we'll get 1 half is my coefficient. x to the 0 is 1, so just 1 half. Uh, n is 1, so I'll get uh, 3 for the top, so plus. So I don't have an alternating part, so 3. Um, n is 1, so that's 2 plus 2 fourths. n is 1 x squared. Sometimes because, right, especially if it's not just going up by one each time, if it's not like an easy one, I have to write my n values above them just because, um, right, I don't want to lose track of where I am. So if n is 2, that's 4, 5, uh, 6. Okay, I got it, x to the 4th. Okay, so there are some c's. I'll put some more on, right, when the videos pause. So if you want to add a few more, you can. And then let's write some s's. So I'll just write 2 for this. So if uh, n is 0 for s, I'm going to get 2 thirds. Um, let's see, s is 0. So that's x to the first. OK, good. Um, n is 1. Again, no alternating, so everybody's plus. So that'll be 1. That'll be 4 fifths. n is 1. x to the third. OK, I'm going to pause. I'm going to write out a few more. You write out a few more as well. Meet you at the bottom. Okay, so I guess I didn't write out that many more. Excuse me. Okay, so C minus S. So we're just going to start writing some of those terms. So, And I'm just going to put them in order. Okay, so it's going to be C. All of your S's are going to be negative, right, because I'm subtracting them. So let's go ahead and just make those negative, and then we can think about it as adding. So negative, 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 negative. I guess that's all I've got. Okay, so adding them together. I'm going to have 1 half minus 2 thirds x plus 3 fourths x squared. And then I'm on to my x cubed term. So minus 4 fifth x cubed plus 5 sixths x to the fourth minus 6 sevenths x to the fifth. Okay, I'm going to stop. And now let's look here and see do we see that pattern. So, right, this is actually easier to write than the one above it. So it is alternating. Okay. So when I go to write my series of C minus S, okay, I'm going to have an alternating term. So that means I'm going to have a negative 1 to some power of N. Right? We're going to start from N equals, well, I don't know what I'm going to start at yet. So I have to think about that. Okay, so let's think about um, the other things I need. So I need an x to a power. So if I go x to the n, then my first term, this 1 half, would start at 0 so that I don't actually have an x. So let's do that. We'll start at n equals 0. And that will make the first one positive so that my odd powers are negative. So that will work here. Okay, I'm good with that. So I've got my alternating part, I've got my x part, so now we need those coefficients. So let's think about those. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4. So those are just going up by 1 each time. That's nice, and it starts at 1. But if n starts at 0, so my first one would be right n plus 1 for the numerator. And then my denominator also going up by 1 each time. Made me think, hold on, let me check my denominators up here for s. I'm going to pause and check. OK, it was fine. I was just panicking. OK, um, so I've got my numerators. Let's get those denominators. So my first one is going to be 2. So if n is 0, I need to get to 2. So that would be n plus 2. And then let's just make sure if n is 1, that'll get me 3. If n is 2, that'll get me 4. All right, so there we go. There is one way that you could write that uh, series as a difference.